Hello. In this learning dialogue, we are going to give focus on the WordPress themes, widgets, and menace. Let us begin with the WordPress themes. A theme controls the general look and feel of your site, including things like page layout, widget locations, and default font and color choices. WordPress.com has a wide range of themes for you to choose from. The theme showcase where each theme has an about page that includes features and instructions. You can browse themes by sorting them and clicking the links for trending, popular, and newest at the top of the page, and you can filter those results for free or premium. Additional filters are available in the theme showcase for popular types of themes such as photography, food, music, portfolio, business, and more. You can also filter by feature, such as custom header or post slider, or by layout, color, or price. Themes on WordPress.com support the latest versions of browsers, like Firefox, Chrome, Edge, Internet Explorer, 11 only, Safari, and Opera. Next thing that we are going to see is the widget. Widget is a tool or content that you can add, arrange, and remove from the sidebar of your website or blog. Widgets make it easy to customize the content of your sidebars. We can reorder these widget panels as well. We need to just hover over one and mouse click to select and drag it up or down, depending on where you would like it to display. Widgets can be configured to appear only on certain pages by clicking on the visibility button. Visibility is controlled by six aspects, page type, category, tag, date, author, and taxonomy. For example, if you wanted the archives widget to only appear on category archives and error pages, choose show from the first drop-down and then add respective rules. We can also hide widgets based on the current page. For example, if you don't want the archives widget to appear on search results pages, choose hide and page is search results. Each visibility rule is handled separately. There is not a way, for example, to only display a widget on posts that are categorized as summer and also tagged with picnic. Let us see some insights about menace. Menus are a list of common links that are usually displayed as the main navigation for your site. The menu location can vary depending on website theme, and some themes offer additional menus such as social links menus. We can create a menu item that is not clickable but will contain sub-menu items, for that you need to add a custom link menu item and add the hash symbol and the URL field. To summarize, in this learning dialogue we have seen what is the role of themes, widgets, and menus in WordPress customization and why we should use them. In the upcoming learning dialogues, we are going to explore further more about WordPress customization with the help of WordPress customizer, users, and general settings. Thank you.